Richard, our question for today is short and is perhaps one of the perennial philosophical slash spiritual questions of our time. And the question is, is this world real? Anything that pertains to this world will reflect the nature of duality. Any question or observation or experience of this world will have two sides. It's bound to be because that's what this apparent world is participating in and is tending towards, you see. It's always a frisson between two, which is creating a third always, and then there's a further, which is creating a third always, and on and on and on. And on. The world is real within the... Um, within the confines of duality, within the confines of a rising form. That's not really the problem as such we have. Um, certain uh, spiritual paths will say this world is uh, a dream and it's to be transcended. Others will say um, it's real and it's an opportunity for practicing morality or suffering in certain virtuous ways. Mm -hmm. or world religions in fact they're, they're not really so very similar in all aspects at all they have different things to say the east and the west the north and the south they have different things to say about this apparent world and even there then you have this aspect of duality is it real? yes and no, of course. No and yes. How is it real, perhaps, we could ask? And how is it not real? Is it, for example, as uh, the Vedas may have us uh, understand, uh, a reflection of the Absolute, and therefore in that way it's real? You and I are God. This phone, these glasses, this glass of water here of course is also God realizing God in these separate forms we are God surrounded by God that's one way of looking at it it's one way in which a whole nation have been brought up to understand Maya Maya is the illusion that's created from the reality of the absolute so as such it's a real illusion you see but reality itself is nothing to do with the arising of forms or the world as we experience it, and neither is it experience itself. Because the world of forms and our experience of the forms in the apparent world or the total composition of the apparent world really does one thing. If you think about it, if you consider it deeply, what it does is it establishes me in my small self. It says, there is all this going on inside, I have these reactions or this response, and then I have a certain distance from these other events. I myself, of course, am an event that I'm having a hard time being aware of most of the time, but I am an event too in the world. And the distance between me and the other events causes a certain enmity usually, doesn't it? A certain conflict, a certain confusion, and certainly a certain fear mm. and a certain desire. I want the things that I like the look of, I don't want these other things. And I'm basically afraid because it's a big world as it, as it looks, and I'm kind of small. So this world, whether it's real or not real, is really engendering something which essentially isn't real. 
and that is myself as a separate small divided entity from all other things in that sense if the the questioner is asking from a spiritual perspective i wouldn't buy into it i wouldn't buy into this world in the sense of the arising forms which cause me suffering because I want some of them, I don't want other ones, and I'm basically afraid because I feel separate from all of this. You're not separate from anything. The spiritual, as I, I mean, I've given this one away for some years now, and uh, this is the final statement we can make in the divine spiritual endeavor. I am the consciousness in which everything arises. Mm. And if you meditate on that, not only will you enter reality, but you yourself become real. And, and the non-dualists don't like me saying this, but I will say it now anyway, the world becomes real. So come try and avoid dismissing the world. This idea of is the world real or not real, this quasi-dilemma. And it is a quasi-dilemma. And it's a popular quasi-dilemma because... On the whole, us human beings seem to prefer being uh, distracted into mental activities and thought forms which don't really have any viable outcome. They don't ultimately contribute to our liberation, you see. Yeah. Therefore, we're very interested. Try not to be interested. Try and say, rather than seek answers, say, am I asking the right question? Is this question going somewhere? Is this going where I want it to go to? Do I want to be distracted in analysis? Is the world real? It's a good question. Do I seek liberation? How is the world real? How is the world unreal? And my encouragement is, you yourself need to become real in order for the world to be real. Hmm. 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 Thank you.